Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my April update to the Paranormal Pantivity Project pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was created by Andrea, and I will have all of that information linked down below. This started on September 24th of last year, goes to September 24th of this year, because that is National Ghost Hunting Day. For this project, Andrea came up with 31 prompts that are all about specters, spirits, and spooks. And we are to choose six prompts to work on at a time. She did kind of leave that up to us. So I decided to roll in all 31 prompts at the same time. As of the last update, I had hit my goal on 13 of the 31 prompts, and I do have two more goals hit, and I do wanna make one change to one of the prompts for this update. And I will start at the top of the list, and when I get to that prompt, I'll let you know what the change is that I'm going to be making. So I only have out the products that I have worked on over the past month, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one that I recently started working on was for Doppelganger, a product you have a double or a backup of. I have so many of these. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm in the scent Lemon Mint. This was brand new for the last update and over this past month I have used it nine times. Hopefully you can see I am right there. I do try to use this pretty much across the top and make it level. I'm about down to here. My goal is to finish this. This might be an empty for the next update. The next prompt was White Lady, a product that's white or has white packaging. For that, I rolled in my NYX Pore Filling Primer. As of the last update, I had used it 46 times to get down to here. I have cut it open and I've used it six more, but there is still more product down in there. It is getting difficult to reach and it is starting to dry out. It's kind of to the point where I put it on my cheeks and it starts to roll and pill. However, I am able to work with it and get it to look nice on my skin. So I am at a total of 52 uses so far. And I think this one will be an empty for the next update as well. The next prompt was Screaming Skulls, a Halloween or scary themed product. For that, I rolled in my Pacifica 7 Free nail color in the shade Swamp Thing. My goal for this is to use it five times. As of the last update, I had used it four times. I did use it that one additional time, so this is a goal met, and this will be rolling out of the project. This color is beautiful. I really like it. The next prompt was Dybbuk. That's a product that's still in its box. For that, I rolled in my Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden Perfume. I did decant it into this sprayer, and when I did that, it was filled up to here. I had eight previous uses on it, got it down to here, and over the past month, I used it an additional nine times, and now I am down to here. So 17 uses. I'm more than halfway through this. This could potentially be done for the next update. I am splitting time between two or three other perfumes, so we'll have to see how much progress I can make on this one. Next is Kelpie, a product that you use in the shower or bath. For that, I rolled in my Not Your Mother's Bamboo Activated Charcoal and Purple Moonstone Scalp Scrub. This was not brand new when I rolled it into the project. As of the last update, I had used it nine times. Over the past month, I've used it an additional three and it is completely gone. I did really enjoy this. The scent of this is amazing. I do really like this as a scalp scrub. I don't have any more scalp scrubs in my collection. If I do need one, I would definitely repurchase this. However, I did really enjoy using it. So that is goal number two met. The next prompt is Necromancy, a product you haven't used in a long time. For me, that is my Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. As of the last update, I had used it 87 times to get down to here. I have used it 15 more and I am right there. I'm trying to level it out. It's difficult to get it to line back up to the lines, but I have gone from here down to here in the project with 102 uses. I do really like this powder. I wish it wasn't discontinued. It is really nice. It still has that amazing peach scent that I really enjoy. Next was Urban Legend, a product that's too good to be true. For me, that's my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. As of the last update, I had used it 46 times to get to here. I've only used it four more times and I am right here, so I am at 50 uses so far. I didn't get as much use as I do typically in previous months because I rolled in the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk mousse into another project for a usage goal. So I've been splitting my time between this and the other one. I prefer this gel over the mousse. It is an amazing product. This is my favorite hair care product. 
The next prompt is Orbs, a product that brings light to your face. This is the prompt that I need to make a change to. I had originally rolled in this The Balm Mary Luminizer beautiful uh, highlighter right here and my goal is to hit pan in this. I have not used this so far and this has been in the project since the beginning of September and if you have seen my pan that face palette you know I'm trying to work on three other highlighters to completion and this just competes with it. So I've decided I'm going to roll this out of the project and put something else here in its place because I want to work on this prompt and I have just been ignoring that highlighter. So what I'm going to roll in instead is this Ulta Beauty Under Eye Brightener right here. I have put this in another project. I'm going to be putting this in here for 31 uses. I figured there's 31 prompts, so I'll put it in here for 31 uses. This is it right here. I'll give you a swatch of it. It is a little bit more pink toned, but I'm going to use this underneath my eyes and then that way I can work on this prompt. The next prompt is Flying Dutchman, a product you are doomed to pan for what feels like forever. This is definitely true about this one. For that, I chose to work on an eyeshadow from my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, working on the shade Cone. As of the last update, I had used it 35 times. Over the past month, I have used it 11 more times, and this is it. It still looks exactly the same. I have used this one 46 times, and it barely shows any use whatsoever. So yes, I am doomed to pan this for what feels like forever. The next prompt is Afterlife, a product past its expiration date. Again, I rolled in another shade from this Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I decided to work on the shade Virgin. As of the last update, I had used it 14 times, and over the past month, I've used it an additional 15, and this is it right here. As you can see, I was able to expand the pan quite a bit. I use this to set down my eyeshadow primer, so I have 29 uses on this for this prompt. It was another prompt in this project. My goal was to hit pan, so I had 45 uses on it, then I rolled it over for this prompt. So an additional 29 on that. So that is 74 uses. Hopefully I did that math right. 74 uses so far on this shade. So this is past its expiration date. And by that, I mean, it is a lot more powdery. It has a lot of kick up compared to some of his other shades. I've just found that in his palettes, there is a lot of inconsistencies between the matte shades. So that's why I chose to work on that eyeshadow for that prompt. And then the final prompt I was working on was Spirit, a nature-themed product. For that, I rolled in my Native Coconut and Vanilla Body Wash. As of the last update, I had used it 14 times to get down to here. Over the past month, I've used it an additional 24, and I am all the way down here. So I have 38 uses on this, and I'm pretty close to being finished. So I finished two more prompts, which takes me up to 15 out of 31 done. For the next update, I do think I will have a couple more goals hit. I think I will have this NYX Pore Filler Primer finished. I think I'll have this Body Wash finished. And I think I'll probably have this Pharmacy Green Clean finished as well. While I do have several of these in projects, I'm not splitting time between this and any others. So this is the only one that I'm using right now. So hopefully I have at least three goals met for the next update. That is everything that I have for you. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.